bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to this edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. In this special edition of the American Health Journal, we'll dedicate the entire show to the leading cause of death among men and women, cardiovascular disease, which affects an estimated 60 million Americans. Today, we have the opportunity of introducing you to Dr. Louis Zignaro, the 1998 Nobel Prize winner in medicine. When I was in Europe, actually when I was in Naples, Italy, which is where my dad was born many years ago, uh, this is when I first heard about the announcement of the uh, Nobel Prize. And actually, I refused to believe it until uh, my colleague who had invited me to give a lecture uh, showed me on the computer, uh, in the internet, uh, at the Nobel site, that I was awarded the Nobel Prize in medicine. The Nobel Prize ceremony is unbelievable. It's celebrated in December. It's always celebrated on December 10th, which is the anniversary of Alfred Nobel's death. So it's a whole, about eight or nine days of ceremony. So we give lectures, I think, on the 8th of December. We meet all kinds of interesting people. And of course, we get a chance to converse with the other Nobel laureates. And then the ceremony is spectacular. It's, it's held at the concert hall. Uh, of course, it's attended and hosted by the, the king and, and the uh, queen of uh, Sweden. It's just a, a fantastic event, but one of the greatest feelings I ever had was uh, getting up and walking to King Carl Gustav and uh, receiving the Nobel Prize uh, from his hands. That was a very uh, moving moment for me, as was a couple of days later uh, in the final, the terminating ceremony where I was actually asked to sign my name to a very special book that had the signatures of all of the Nobel laureates who preceded me from 1901 through 1997. And what they do is they ask you to flip through the pages first and look at all the names and signatures of the prior Nobel laureates. And then when you get to the last page and you see your own printed name, you sign your name with a special pen that they give you. And I remember flipping through the pages and seeing all kinds of names, uh, uh, Madame Curie, for example, uh, all kinds of people, Ernest Hemingway. The one name that really got to me, though, was Albert Einstein, because I suddenly realized for the first time that I was going to be signing my name to the same book signed by Albert Einstein, and I added my name to that long list of incredible names. Dr. Ignaro was dedicated over 30 years of research in the discovery of nitric oxide's benefits in preventing and even reversing cardiovascular disease. The benefits don't stop there. It can also reduce high blood pressure, lower cholesterol, and age-proof your cardiovascular system. Dr. Ignaro will also explain what nitric oxide is, the important role of L-arginine and L-citrulline in boosting the production of nitric oxide, and also other necessary supplements, including vitamins, exercise, and diet, all the ingredients to a more healthy and better quality of life. Coronary artery disease occurs when there's an impairment of blood flow to the heart. The heart has its own circulatory system, and that circulatory system is called the coronary arteries. When people develop atherosclerosis or high cholesterol levels, this can result in plaque deposition, plaque formation in the arteries. And as those plaques grow and grow, they can obstruct the flow of blood. This can lead to a decrease in the flow of blood and therefore the flow of nutrients and oxygen to the heart to the point where wh when you need your heart during exercise or walking up the stairs or changing a flat tire or almost anything else if the heart does not get enough blood or oxygen it's going to feel pain due to ischemic damage that is essentially a heart attack nitric oxide is a uh, a chemical or a molecule, or you can even call it a hormone uh, that is present in the body, uh, which functions in certain specific ways within the cardiovascular system. It's our way of protecting ourselves, literally, against cardiovascular disease. It's a molecule, for example, that lowers the blood pressure. 
It's our way of preventing strokes and heart attacks. The arteries make nitric oxide for the purpose of lowering the blood pressure, improving blood flow to organs, because nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It widens or relaxes the arteries so that more blood can flow through. That's going to lower the pressure within the plumbing, within the arterial system. And again, it protects against the coronary artery disease because it can lower the bad cholesterol levels uh, and so on. So it's the body's natural way to protect against heart disease provided we make enough of it. Nitric oxide is considered to be a lifesaver because it's the body's natural way of protecting against cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer, not only in the U.S., but throughout the world. And so the body can protect against all of this heart disease by generating more and more nitric oxide. When nitric oxide becomes deficient, this is when the barriers break down, this is when the protection is lost, and the individual is very sensitive and very susceptible um, to heart disease. And again, nitric oxide is protective because it can keep your blood pressure down in the normal range. High blood pressure causes heart attacks, causes strokes, and can lead to atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease. And nitric oxide can prevent all of these things. Arginine is an amino acid. There are uh, about 20 or so amino acids that are the building blocks of all proteins. Proteins that you eat and proteins that are in your body, like your muscle and, and skin and so on. And, but arginine plays a unique role in that arginine uh, is the one amino acid that the body uses to produce nitric oxide, okay? There are two amino acids that the body actually can use. One is arginine, the other is citrulline. But the primary amino acid, which is converted to nitric oxide in the body, is arginine. And it's very important, therefore, to maintain uh, normal healthy levels of arginine at all times because when we develop certain cardiovascular and related diseases uh, that are characterized by a deficiency in nitric oxide, the main reason for the deficiency in nitric oxide is a deficiency in this amino acid arginine. So if you have too low a level of arginine, you're not going to make sufficient amounts of nitric oxide to protect your cardiovascular system against disease. And so arginine is one of those amino acids that you actually have to take in from the outside. That is, you have to include it in your diet. And we're lucky that so many different proteins contain arginine. But sometimes, even though we may eat healthy and eat normal amounts of protein, if you have a deficiency in arginine, you're not going to get sufficient amounts from the diet. So you may want to consider supplementing uh, your diet with extra arginine. Nitric oxide uh, 